world? My name is Janelle Jay-Z Cole, and you are watching the season premiere of The Really Real Show with, uh-oh, my co-host, Jalen Marcus Judah of Judah's Closet. Peace. Welcome, welcome, welcome back, back to the season premiere of season, season two. Season premiere. Of the season. Really Real Show with John and West. You already know who we are. I'm West. This is my partner, John. I'm and back. introducing for season two, we have the lovely Gail Bean. Gail Say Bean. hey, Gail. Hey, y'all. Yeah, that's Gail, but this, this season premiere episode is, is huge, it's live. The theme of it is Stupid. Battle of the Sexes. Battle, and you already know who win it. Battle of the Sexes. <laughs> Men. Women. Men. Hey. But hey, we're going to get into that <laughs> way before. We got Janelle Cole on the show. We caught up with her at the Fro Fashion Show at the Malia Hotel mm. in the one and only Atlanta, Georgia. We can't leave, y'all. We right. still here. We can't. We can't. Right in the middle. Uh, we caught up with her. We got a, a, a nice interview with her. And she also going to join us on our forum for the Battle of the Sexes. It's going to get real live. I you already, already know. know. I, so I make sure you stick know. around. Stay tuned. Uh, we got some good news coming for you. The Grammys just passed. We're going to give you some of the top winners. And uh, they got the uh, Oscars coming up. We got yeah. the Oscars coming up. Yeah. So uh, we're going to take a quick Absolutely. break. And we're going to get right <laughs> back into the season premiere. Season two. Season premiere. The season premiere. Bigger and blacker. Of the really real show. Better because we got a woman on it now. West yes. and Gail. My name is Janelle Jay-Z Cole and I'm from Los Angeles, California. Yes, I'm um, actually an actress and model by trade and profession and I've worked with such uh, networks as CW Network, Tyler Perry Studios, VH1, BET Networks and done a, a couple ad campaigns for Revlon and uh, Haynes wear and things of that nature. So, like I said, other than acting, I also model as well. And now I'm sort of branching out into hosting with the Fro Fashion Show. Well, the Fro Fashion Show is definitely a celebration and a salute to all of our naturalistas out there who rock all the locks and the froze and curly heads and all of that great stuff without any harsh chemicals or dyes. So, it's sort of like a celebration and a salute to all natural hair sisters. Because originally I was a runway model for the show and they invited me back to be the host for the show last year and I must have did a great job because I'm here again as the official host for the 2012 spring summer show and I'm also an entrepreneur I have my own clothing line called Judas Closet which is sort of a salute to my uh, two-year-old who uh, really has a lot of personality and swag which I'm sure you guys will hear about him soon I'm writer uh, director as well as producer of a play called She Spits. And it's basically an all African American female cast of strong, intelligent, talented women. And we sort of infuse performance poetry with acting. And uh, we toured last year and the year before, and now we will be debuting our second volume of She Spits this upcoming uh, summer season as well. And it's produced under my production company called Queen Dome Entertainment. <laughs> Jay-Z, when she's not working, is really a down-to-earth chick. I love to sort of hang out and have fun. I love my family and friends around me and just really am very spontaneous and love just having fun. I try my best to enjoy what it is that I do, which for me, work is fun. It's time for the Ghetto Family View. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Ghetto Family I'm your host, Frank Manansis, and I'm here with our reigning champs, the Johnsons. What's up? Y'all already know. What's up, Frank? I remember you. What's going on, baby? What's up? All right. And we got our rivals here today, the Joneses. Uh, hey. Okay. Yeah. Sad, sad. Let's see who's going to take the title today on Ghetto Family Feud. <laughs> Moving to you, Joneses. How about a little bit of an introduction? Show us what you got here. Well. My name is Doraco Jones, and this is my lovely wife, Michelle, and my son, Martin Luther. I'd like to give a shout out to my uh, buddy, Bartholomew, over from uh, Easton the Third. Keep it real, homie. <laughs> He's a very good kid. He's a very good kid. That's a little bit uneasy, unnerving, but let's get into the game anyway. First question is what is the first thing a man does after sex? Oh, oh, cuddle, well, you know, me and my snuggle buddy, we like to cuddle. Yes, good answer, good answer. That's a word? Good answer, good answer. 
Show me cuddle. <laughs> it's okay. Let's see if you can redeem your sorry ass husband there, Michelle. After we're intimate, we like to talk. Good answer. <laughs> Very good conversation. Let's talk. Talk about. Show me talk. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Luther. Yeah. Martin Luther, let's see if you can save your broke ass parents. Square. Well, I never had intercourse before. <laughs> 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 okay. He's saving himself till marriage. Yes. Johnsons, how y'all doing? Hey, what's, what's up, going buddy? on? Y'all looking a little bit on the thin side today. What's happening? I mean, I ain't sure. You know how you know how black people live, so you know. I'm gonna take all the money out. So I can't hate about that. You're yeah, right you, on top of you, color people you. time. So let's see what we can make happen here. Press First question: What does a man do after sex? Mm. Everybody knows you smoke a blunt. Smoke a blunt. Show me smoke a blunt. <laughs> Five thousand points right there, Johnson. That is illegal. Oh. Here, baby mama, moving on to you. Okay. Well, this fool always leaves. Tell me, I gotta go. That's leave. Leave. Gotta go. Where do you go? Show me the lever. You go home, brother. Oh, oh, no, 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 Leave. Ah, Martin Luther, ah, you're yep. taking notes. Ah. Baby daddy, let's see if you can get answer number three. Uh, well, you know, I ain't that for free, so you gotta pay the hoe. Show me pay, pay that hoe. Pay her. You gotta have a pay anyone for sexual activities. Did you? Thing number three. So make it happen for 2,000. What kind of square feud is this? This is, is Ghetto Family Feud! Alright y'all, welcome back to the season premiere of The Really Real Show with John and Wes. I'm your host, John Russian, of course. We got our lovely new co-host, Miss Gail Bean, here with us for the forum. And our very special featured guest, Miss Janelle Jay-Z Cole, aka Miss Everything. How y'all doing, ladies? Well, I'm doing good. good. Alright, y'all ready for this battle of the sexes thing? Let's get it, so, right? Yeah, let's ready. get it. Alright, we're gonna start we're gonna get right into it, y'all. We're gonna start off we're gonna start off like who okay. who's the better driver in y'all opinion, men or women? You wanna take this first, Gail, because I, I clearly clearly women. Right. I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. Why? Because it's not true. What are your facts? What do you say this? Man can man can Focus on the road better, first of all. Every 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 oh young woman I see driving, I mean literally every woman is talking on the phone. Because women are multitasking. In the yes. mirror. I agree. Multitasking until yes. you hit until no, you no, hit no, the no. guy. Women, in the like you said, Gail, we can be putting on mascara, uh -huh. we can be tending to the baby in the background, we can be putting on the lipstick and primping the hair no. and still no, be no, focused no. and get where we need to no, go. You guys can no. see a girl walk by no and you, it's you about focus. to be a wreck. You lose focus. No we focus. No no we focus. Yes. No Men, this okay, fact. I work at a bar. Men Drink and drive way more than women. Wait, they don't. They're not safe. I, I agree. They're I not. agree. And then y'all don't know how to handle an accident. If y'all get in an accident, what? it's like the end of the world. I need to call the mama, daddy, hospital. That's because that shows that we take cousin. right, serious. right. We and you know, we want to make everybody aware that we are okay. We're safe. You guys get into an accident, we don't hear from you, God forbid. We're trying to search the whole city around exactly. just to make sure no. that daddy is getting home safely because you guys didn't call. Exactly. Long as long as you're not hurt, it's not a big deal. I think it's safe to say, it's two against one, women got this. Right. Women got this. That's That's drivers. Yeah. Yeah. I think so, yeah. I already see how this is going to go. You know, I, I got left out to hang That's out and drive, but that's a story, you know. We're going to move on. We are on the Today Show uh, a few weeks ago, and they posed the question, who is more stressed? Men or women? I'm gonna take this one first. Okay, okay. okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and say I think women are more stressed because, and I feel the reason is they put women put more stress on themselves rather than other people putting the stress on them. I, that's the way I feel. The women would allow that what a man would consider a minor thing or a minor problem to weigh down on them and affect their work performance. I think for me, if I had to say, I think men are more stressed in this one. Just because I think, as far as your point, I think women handle stress a lot more better than men. So that's why I feel like men are more stressed because think about it, you guys are the breadwinners. You know, when you have children and families to take care of, even though we're 
we take care of the families as well, but you sort of have to figure out how I'm going to provide for this family. You are sort of the head of the household, and that's a major role to play, yeah. you know. So I think as far as who might be more stressed, in my opinion, would be men, but who deals with stress a little bit better, I would say women. What, what do you think, Gail? I, I agree halfway with both of y'all. I feel women are more emotional when it comes to stress. However, I also think that women have a little bit more to carry. Because even if they're not working, they have all the other responsibilities, which can be stressful on a person. Like, they may have the cleaning, they may have the children, they may have to deal with all the bills. Even though the man may bring in the money, it's other things that they have to do. And then you have to worry about, sometimes a woman is put into a situation where she's not allowed to follow her dreams. So she has all this, and yet she's still trying to be happy. I, I agree. I agree with that point. I agree with that point. I still feel women are still put, still bring a little bit too much of it on themselves. Mm -hmm. When some stuff they can just say, "Hey, I'm gonna let that slide." You know, I'm gonna keep like the job thing for example. I'm just gonna work hard as I can, and eventually I'll get promoted. I feel like, but but it's okay. We now let's get into a relationship question. We okay. we gonna get into a little relationship <laughs> question. <here. laughs> First question is: Should you have expectations going into? A brand new relationship and if you do what type of expectations should you have Miss Janelle? Absolutely you should always have expectations for a new relationship an old relationship something that you may be trying to rekindle I think in my personal experiences with relationships expectations are what is really going to determine how this relationship is going to flow Hence, if you want someone to respect you, if you want someone to treat you right on both ends, men and women, you have to have certain expectations and certain goals that you're sort of working towards as a couple overall. So, ladies, gents, yes, you should have expectations. And I don't believe that any expectations are too high or too low. I think that, you know, the, the basic things as far as respect, you know, catering to one another, you know, communication is a big deal, trust. I think those should be expectations and I don't think that they should be high at all when people say you have too too many high expectations I think those are sort of a given yeah and no-brainers yeah. you know so absolutely I think you should have expectations all right how do you feel about that guy? I agree completely with that. <laughs> I feel if you don't expect anything then what do you want out of it so at the end of the day a person can either exceed your expectations or they cannot meet it you can either keep them or keep moving it's what you decide to settle for all right, so let me ask you. So if you, you have your expectations set up, just say, you know, the, the mate or the, the person involved doesn't live up to those expectations immediately. Is it, is it a wait and see kind of thing or is it a, no, nah, it's not, I'm already not feeling it or what, how do you go about that? I think that in any relationship, obviously, because we're human, so mm -hmm. when something doesn't feel right or it doesn't look right, I think our innate sort of reaction to that is to run you know, uh, run away. Like, don't even put in the time to sort of work it out. I know I've been guilty of this in past relationships where it's like, I I'm not feeling that. Yeah. So I'll just go ahead and run before I really put in the time to work it out. And I think that, you know, we're all human. We all make mistakes. And I think in any relationships, when you're trying to learn one another, there is going to sort of be that gray area or that uncomfortable state um, until you sort of work things out. And I think other than sort of something that's just tragic as far as if there's abuse involved verbally or physically, I always say everything is worth working out, if that makes I sense. Agree. You feel the same way about that? I agree. I agree with having expectations for any relationship you get in. Just make those expectations known because men are not mind readers. I know that, I know that for a fact. Communication is the so. key in any yes, relationship. Absolutely. It's definitely key. All right, ladies. This we agreed on is, that. All right. Yeah, this is more, I'm on a really I'm real fine. show. I'm yes. <laughs> All right. This, this conversation is getting a, is, is getting really, really good. Okay. But we got to take a break from season premiere of the Really Real Show. We'll be right back, y'all.